How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another YouTube video. So this is going to be a little bit different than what I usually do, but I wanted to read an article talking about some price analysis and price predictions for a couple coins as well as uh, compare it with the charts and my opinion as well as talk about someone else's opinion. So this is an article uh, on Cointelegraph and it's done by, I believe, uh, JP Morgan Chase Analysts um, expect. So take that with a grain of salt. I think it's interesting to look at these analysis is and compare them um, to what actually happens in the market. Obviously, we won't know what happens in the next couple of months. No one can predict the future. But back in 2017, 2018, when I first started reading these, I think it was some from Cointelegraph back then too. It was interesting to see them saying that Bitcoin would reach 100,000 by the end of the year and like coin would reach... Uh, five hundred dollars or a thousand dollars in the next five years uh, and that was in 2017 so 2018 2019 2020 21 22 it's been five years look at the price of litecoins at 55 60 dollars right now it's just interesting to compare uh and see how wrong they were and uh yeah let's not waste any more time let's get into the article so I'll have this in the description as always, but it's uh, crypto markets have been in a strong bear phrase for, for the past several months, which I really don't think that's true. But uh, it's it's people keep saying they're throwing bear phrase around like it's it's not what's happening for the past several months. But JP Morgan Chase analysis expect that to change and they have projected a significant upside from the current levels. And I have a reason to doubt that, especially after watching this video by Rabid Mining, which I will also have in the description below. So obviously not financial advice, but he did prove a really good point talking about previous market trends, something that they didn't really talk about, like long market trends um, in in this article. So uh, going down to Bitcoin, they say that it could uh, uh, if the price turns down from this zone, the zone being $23,000, sellers will make another attempt to pull the pair below $20,000. A break close below $17,622 could start the next leg of the downtrend. So alternatively, if buyers push the price above the 20-day EMA, uh, it will signal a potential change in trend. The pair could rally, could then rally to the 50-day simple moving average, $29,000, where the bear mark, bears may mount a strong defense right now we're at 20,709 we did drop below uh, 20,000 ethereum um at a thousand dollars they're saying it could rise to 1250 we're at 1120 right now and later to 1429 and it could also turn down to 1881 so bnb strong support at 211 but the bears could not build upon this advantage and they said that it will push towards 251 and if it breaks that barrier 297 but it could also break the level and go to 211 and 183 so they're basically if you guys have never like read these before they give you both sides of it and most people like i remember when i first started reading these i, I always read like the positive stuff like i would read this and be like okay and just exit the article or i would read this and i'd be like eh not a big deal but it, it really is just a prediction. They're just predicting what prices it will go to if certain barriers are broken. And I thought it's interesting. They have BNB, Ethereum, Bitcoin. They have Cardano, and then they have XRP. And XRP is kind of like a it's a weird coin. It's like a they want to bring banks into crypto. It's just kind of kind of strange. I used to be bullish on it, but after like like really just taking a step back and understanding, I'm like I don't really want XRP, but. This article will be in the description below so you guys can check that out and compare uh, with with your charts or something, whatever you guys do. But the main thing I did want to talk about is Bitcoin because Bitcoin basically drives the market. And they're saying it could break close below uh, 17,000. And I think it says uh, in, yeah, in the 50 day moving average, but it says in the next couple of months or something like that. Um, anyway. They're talking about how it could improve um, and there's aggressive buying at lower levels so there might be a sharp recovery but I wanted to point uh, out to you guys and this is what rabbit mining did talk about in his video but he compared like the the past uh, market trends so first he went from 2013 it should be like 
here you can you can see the price of Bitcoin at its all-time high back in 2013 and you can even see this on the map so it took uh, like you have to zoom in it doesn't even show up um, you can see it was at its all-time high uh, December 3rd 2013 and it's all-time low uh, January 13th 2015 so it's almost um, a year and a month or so um, it took to get from its all-time high to its all-time low for the first bull run, which was a very mild bull run. Then if we go to 2017 and 2018, its all-time high was $20,000. Let's just round it up. I think it did break $20,000 in December of 2017. And then it went down to uh, almost a year later, it dropped down to $3,200. So you can take that since it's been a year for each of them, it was a year at its all-time high to and a, give or take a month or two. And then if we go to the current bull run at its all-time high, which is uh, from November 2021, you can expect, theoretically, we can predict that in 2022, come November, December, January, I would say October to January, um, no, September to January, yeah, uh, that range as when you can expect to see the all-time lows. Now that's not financial advice. I'm just following the previous um, markets. And this is what I followed Rabbit Mining this video. This is what he talks about. So it was a quick video and this one's gonna be a quick video, but I wanted to show you guys that, you know, all these predictions, people are just using their words. I heard that people like that quote, so I'm gonna keep using it. They're just using their words. Uh, so what that they have a degree or that they have uh, their JP Morgan Chase analysis crypto is not the stock market you can't predict this kind of stuff especially with the way the, the economy is right now in the United States inflation is at its all-time high gas prices are at its all-time high usually when there's stuff like this and I'm, I'm taking uh, someone's words from the crypto lab but usually when there are uncertain times like this spending like uh, spending on silly stuff I wouldn't call crypto silly I can't think of the words right now but sending on spending on stuff that isn't like life or death important to you becomes like gets put on the back burner and you're focusing on surviving you got to focus on food water all your essentials clothing housing rent electricity all that stuff so I think with that coming into the market as well as uh, just the economic downturn that we're headed into I think Bitcoin has a higher chance of going down than it does going up, at least in the short term to, uh, yeah, short term, because that's about six months. Um, in the long term, obviously, things always go back up, but it's just a matter of when, and nobody knows. So at this point, I mean, we pretty much bled this past uh, two weeks in the market. We had a awful, awful, uh, I want to say past month. We went from 30,000 all the way down to Eight seventeen thousand seven hundred in what was it a week yeah 10 days so a lot of people lost a lot of money that has to do a lot with Celsius and uh, a little bit of BlockFi some of the stuff they're doing apparently but you know here we are we're still here that's the important thing uh, let's see what happens there's pretty much nothing we can do other than just watch and wait if you want to sell and lose money if you're at a, a, a loss then do it if you need the money but if you want to just keep it in there and see where the price goes and go for it obviously it's not financial advice you guys do what you want but uh, I'm here to just just talk so let me know what you guys think you guys think that Bitcoin's gonna go up or down in the next six months let's be fair let's say six months obviously um, I think it might go up a tad I think we're in a little bit of a relief rally right now, but I think it is going to go back down again. And uh, I'm just, I'm preparing, preparing for the worst and hoping for the best. So thank you guys for watching. If you guys have any comments, questions, concerns, put them in the comment section below. Feel free to join my Discord where we can talk some more. We got some devices going up for sale. We got GPUs, we got helium miners, we got uh, like GPU mining stuff, like motherboards and and power supplies and stuff like that all that stuff is for sale and people are looking to buy and sell in my discord so join discord if you're interested in that kind of stuff 
and uh, most people take crypto but they do take credit card payments and PayPal and all that stuff so you guys have like insurance or whatnot but that's all for this video thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video peace out